You already know what this is. It's on the lockout. Don't go nowhere. Lockout gang. We in the building. Today we got a crazy story out this world. Rikers Island, NYPD, a well-known detective arrested for running a brothel, human trafficking, over $2 million, raking in the bread. We gonna get into all that and more, cause guess what? His daughter gets arrested. Not only did his wife get bagged with him in the beginning, she did like 300 and something days, but his daughter gets caught up for supposedly smuggling drugs into Rikers Island, and she gets knocked, but says she was set up, she's suing. The story coming up right now. But before all that, you got to ask yourself, if you was to ever get locked up, because it could happen to anybody, right? Mistaken identity, whatever. Would you lock out or would you be shook? Keep it real. Don't lie. Lock out, gang. So you already know we doing this Rikers Island war report. This is the part of the show where we get into the news, right? With, don't matter what's going on in our life, we got to do the content thing, right? So uh, Rikers Island, man, NYPD, they do it again. But no, we're the bad guys, right? So this dude... He's got Brooklyn, Queens. He's a former cop, bro. He's giving up um, discounts to NYPD. They gonna be mad at me. But hey, guess what? Welcome to the real media where we don't sugarcoat nothing. Everybody get it. That's the beauty of this. You got a voice, put it out there. So NYPD. <laughs> this dude decides he wants he needs extra bread I don't know whatever his problem was and it's cool my problem is not with him my problem is not with nobody I'm just doing what I gotta do so I can survive but instead of illegally legally <laughs> so they get wrapped up they plead guilty to their cases right which is a uh, him, his wife, his whole family got snatched up. That's a fact. So, boom, he gets nailed, the NYPD officer, right? And his wife, they get snatched up. Boom, they cop out to the, uh, you know, I, I, this word really, you know, women were selling themselves a brothel. You already know what it is. So, this didn't happen like the other day. This didn't happen yesterday. This was a while back, right? Not too far back, but you can look it up. Google it, right? Uh, his last name is P-A-Z. That The correct spelling of it. So, I think it's Lu Wing. Lu Wing is his name, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you could just look up NYPD arrested uh, for running a brothel in New York City, and he's going to pop up. So, they get arrested, right? Give me one second. I got to take this coat off. Facts. New York is cold. <laughs> right with you. Bam. So the daughter, which is, I think her name, right pronunciation to her name is Iris Bell Guzman. She gets knocked, supposedly, the first time she went up to see them. Uh, they say the metal detector rung off, you know, whatever. So she was giving complaints like, look, they effing with me because of my parents and the situation or what have you, right? Because at this point, the family is starting to feel like NYPD, even correction officers, everybody's messing with them because they probably felt like they could bring down a lot of people. 
like he was giving discounts to these people that was running up there getting their thing off right <laughs> and they had to do with uh law enforcement so she's saying all that in the process of her continuing to go see them mind you she got out on bail when all this happened and she says that in that case she was younger and she was forced into like agreeing to what was going on in the house because she was younger now she's an adult like let's keep that in mind because <laughs> i would not be reporting on it if she wasn't like i follow up on that very good for the tube so yeah so she says uh look man they trying to say I was smuggling contraband into Rikers Island. And they lock her up for it. Boom. Holy snap. It goes down, right? <laughs> she gets released. The lab reports come back. Psh, guess what happens when the lab reports come back? She's suing facts. You know why? Leave in the comments if you ever heard this story right here. It's crazy. She's suing because <laughs> the bottom line is the lab report comes back and there was no K2 residue on the magazine. So to my knowledge or to my understanding of the case at hand, it seems like they figured she was smuggling in some form of magazine because they're saying that in the magazine there was no trace of K2 residue. Granted, the whole thing is that um, I say all that to say, and leave in the comments if you ever had a bad experience on your visit, on your way up to the visit to Rikers Island to visit any one of your loved ones. But if you look in my videos, Way down there, in one of them videos, I made a video about Rikers Island and how they set my peoples up and said that they was bringing up contraband. And I'm starting to feel like, not starting to feel, I've been felt this way and a lot of people say it, that these things occur when they can't catch you doing something. When they feel that you're doing something but they can't, I don't know, they can't catch it. Because this happens to a lot of people, but they never actually been caught like the dude himself back there. So they'll F with your visitor. Boom, I'm going to set you up. And this is all going to stop. You know, and, and and it's bad because if you're not catching the person, bro, like what well, part of the game is that? You know, even if they are doing something wrong, I would think that you would wait to catch them red hand they were saying but to set up their visitors preposterous <laughs> you know it's just crazy man it's just crazy so i'm reading this story and i'm going through it right and i'm i'm you know acknowledge you know gaining some insight on what's really going on and what took place with this and i'm just like wow it remind me so much of the situation I was in, and I know how I felt when my people got arrested. So I know how he must have felt. It, hey, look, I know that they probably wasn't no angels or whatever, and some people could say, oh, they plead guilty, so they were guilty. Like, a lot of us plead guilty to cases we were not guilty for because you was done. It's either you take this or you're going to get, you got to explain to them people back there and if they don't believe your story, you're about to get 50. So you take what they offer, you know, because they put the fear death on you and you're done. But I'm pretty sure that, I mean, you know, who am I? You know, something probably could have been going on. But let me know in the comments if you ever heard about this story here. But uh, check it out. Real brief, right? It says... uh. He's the alleged ring. He's the he was the alleged alleged ringleader of a prostitution ring, which took in two million dollars between 2016 and 2017. Well, you know they always gas things up, and they always make them like to be bigger than what they really are. They'll bag one of us, and we are small time dealer, and they'll say we had multi millions of dollars coming in. Uh, we had. 
such and such a gang affiliation, you know, they'll just make a case out of nothing for you. You know, and a lot of us don't report on these cases or talk about them out the fear that they'll give us a case. You know, they'll they'll be like, oh, yeah, you want to report on NYPD stuff? Like, you know, but there's no fear here because I know that's coming. It's sad, you know, because when you're doing good, uh, someone always tries to find something to say, look, 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 your, your good guy is not doing so good here. Your little role model is not. You feel me? Uh, and just keep that in mind. So when it happens, you'll be like, wow, he said it. Or like I always say, when someone comes in, boop, mercs your boy war after you try and, you know, you got your life together. It's just things that happen. It's unfortunate, but it goes on. So anyway, I'm looking right here at the um, situation. It says that he paid for information from active NYPD members and gave them discounts at his brothel. Yo, your boy was, uh, you know, doing a, doing a crazy thing. If you want to say, you know, he was doing his thing, I don't know if that's doing his thing or it's really being dumb. I mean, like, what's really, really being real? I mean, you were selling women. That's cool. I don't know. You leave in the comments. I don't think so. Could have been your sister. Could have been your mother. Could have been my sister. Could have been my mother. We don't know. But uh, we hope that it never is, right? So the pronunciation of his name, I don't know. I know it's spelled L-U-D-W-I-G, right? And I just didn't want to F it up and sound all crazy. I could have Googled it, got the pit. But you know what? You figure it out. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, it's crazy, the story, man. I just was reading that, you know, and getting into that today because it's what I do. You know, Rikers Island, uh, you know, the podcast, the show, Rikers Island Upstate, Real New York Prison Stories, Warpath, On the Lockout. So from time to time, as everybody knows, as we always have done, I give y'all the war report. And not war that's going on in the world, but war as in Rikers Island war, war with life, everything just a report on the news and what's going on to stay in tune with what's going on. And um, it's a sad situation that a whole family gets separated that way, right? Because sometimes we don't think. We don't stop to think about nothing. But when things happen... Then we're like, holy snap, I should have chilled. But if this is your first time here, maybe this is the time for you to consider subscribing, hitting like, commenting, let us know how you feel. Have you ever heard about this case where they got arrested for running that ring? The situation with the daughter getting arrested and suing Rikers Island, that's recent. She's suing them. The results are in. You know, it takes a while for the lab reports. Supposedly, it was K2 that they were saying she was trying to bring in. And the first time, they saying the she wasn't clearing the metal detector, and it's, I guess they were trying to say she was trying to bring some some type of bangers. You know how that goes, the Tate Quieto. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what you think. Could he still be wanting to live that life within Rikers Island? I don't know. That's his business, but you can leave it in the comment. But one thing I could tell you is, or oh, ask yourself, does Rikers Island make you start living that way? Do you go in there, good guy, and a monster is created because of your environment? I know the answer for me. It was always a fact. But uh, just because some people think they're going to go to Rikers Island or their loved ones and they'd be like, you know what, now he's going to change. Maybe this is what he needed. No, you may not never see him again. It's Rikers Island. <laughs> uh, and it's just sad. You know, they got a, also they got a smaller family members that they left behind. I don't think him and the wife were married for too long, but it looks crazy. I didn't put a picture of her up there because honestly, no disrespect to no one. I wasn't sure if that was his wife or you, you see the picture. <laughs> And you tell me, leave it in the comments. It looked crazy. So I didn't want no communities to get a disre feel disrespected or whatever. But it's wild, bro. You got to look that up. Google that. 
Google that and then leave in the comments the, the NYPD's wife if you seen the pic. Uh, wow. But uh, yeah, um, also don't forget that uh, we definitely on Facebook and it's called On The Lockout, right? And Lockout Gang is the group, the private group. We're going to start posting. There. Everyone knows what's going on with me and my family. Uh, so for the next few days, I'm probably going to be a little tied up. I'll still be trying to drop content. Uh, I'm the type of dude. This is what I do. So I know people are going to be like, uh, you know, everyone always has something to say. Aren't they grieving? Or isn't he grieving? Yeah, but I know what my peoples will want me to do. And I know what uh, the old man was happy that I was doing. So uh, they love me doing this besides being in the street doing what I was doing and getting myself in a whole lot of trouble, right? Uh, keeping it real, right? Like people say, which in reality, I, I was keeping it real dumb. It's nothing real about bugging out and wilding the street and getting arrested. It's real dumb. It's not real, <laughs> right? But, uh, yeah, it's sad. Anytime that a family like that gets caught up, and they get taken away and removed from each other. It's just a very, very sad situation. And when I was reading the story, I was I just looked for the stories and and my thing is like, wow. It's not even a shocker anymore. Like that is NYPD or that the dude was NYPD or he is because a human being is a human being and I, and not and I understand today that not every cop is a bad cop I understand that there's good people and bad people and everything but it goes to show that some people think that there's no bad in them people like come on they're human just like us leave in the comments on how you feel about that right and I answer back all comments for the comments that I haven't answered uh like very recent is because I'm definitely working on it and getting to it. You guys already know. Boop. My name is Warpath. This is on a lockout. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Gang, on a lockout.